Hi guys, it's Minik from EarlyLearningMom.com. Um, I want to talk to you guys about something that's really important for um, special needs moms, especially moms on the Doman program. And this is the stuff that like moms kind of go like this, la 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 la. I don't want to hear about it. I'm here to fix my kid. I'm here to help my kid. I'm here to save my kid. But they forget about themselves. And I was guilty of this. I pushed myself to burn out more times than I care to admit. I actually um, got sick twice in a row, didn't listen to my body, and landed up getting like a severe eye infection that required me to wear sunglasses in my house. I couldn't wear my contacts. I even sitting in my living room, dark living room, I had to wear sunglasses because my eyes were so um, sensitive because I had just pushed my body to the max that I couldn't fight off these like basic infections. I wasn't taking care of myself. And um, since then I have adapted a few things, um, some self care practices, but I wanted to just share with you guys one that I think all moms should do, not just Doman moms, but I think all moms should do. And it is a, a gratitude, daily gratitude journal. And I especially think that special needs moms should do this because Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes there's hard days and it's hard to see the good in, you know, the pile of garbage. Um, you know, things are just falling apart. Things are, you know, kids having a rough day, kid is sick, um, siblings are fighting, uh, the program is, the child's resisting program. It's really hard to fall into the trap of thinking like everything sucks. And it's like, no, it doesn't. You can find five things in your day that were awesome or that were good or that were okay, that weren't bad. And if you focus, I'm finding that if I focus on those things before I go to bed, I think about five things that happen, even in a completely crappy day. I go to bed thinking, okay, it wasn't all bad. And it can be as simple as um, there was no line at the grocery store, which is huge right now with like, COVID and limited restrictions and stuff like that. Sometimes you go to the grocery store and you're thinking, oh, how long am I going to stand in line for? And you get there and it's like, oh, there's nobody in line. And you get in and then when you leave, you see that there's a line up out and you just made it in time to avoid that line. Um, or, you know, you're having a rough day, but then your kid comes and gives you a hug and tells you they love you. And that is something that was really good, right? Or... You know, there's so many things I can look at um, that, uh, oh, you know, my son was in summer school, my oldest son, and he kind of bombed on this one assignment. And he was like, oh, crap, like he was feeling really bad about himself. But then the teacher gave him an opportunity to redo it. And he really like he nailed it, like he understood what this teacher wanted of him and he nailed it. And I was just grateful that that teacher saw him as the person he was and not that assignment and knew, here, try this one more time. So like things like that, it can just make your day game night with friends, play date with friends, a yummy dinner. Um, I know that, um, you know, I put putting winter tires on my car, like being able to get my vehicle in and get winter tires on it. You know, there was a time where I couldn't afford winter tires. I had to drive on all seasons and hope that we were safe. And now, you know, I was able to afford this year to make sure, and like the last couple of years to get winter tires on my vehicle. Like that's something to be grateful for. So this just kind of changes your mindset and helps you start looking in the day for things, even when it's crappy. And I know moms, like I know, I've been there where it's like, it seems like tantrum after tantrum, the program's falling apart. The big kids need more out of you. The the school is calling about this kid, the, your, you know, your parents aren't doing well or the car breaks down. Like it's so easy to like drown yourself in those things. But if you take time before bed to find five things, five things that were good that day you're going to start noticing those good things throughout the day and it's going to make life easier and it has made me a happier person um and i've been able to like help other friends like you know they call me 
and they're really down and it's like, well, do you remember when so-and-so your kid did this or um, your husband did that for you? It sounds like that was really good. Um, I'm starting to notice that and it just makes everybody happier. And it makes your kids more grateful too, right? If they hear, like my husband and I try to talk like, um, today I was really grateful that you did this. It really helped me, thank you. And so now my kids are picking up on that. So anyhow, that's what I do. And I'm trying to do every night in November. I've been working on this journal for a little bit. I've been on and off, but I've been, I dedicated November to be my month that every night I make this a habit. I did miss last night. I ended up falling asleep, but I woke up early this morning and I remembered. So I went and I wrote it in and I wrote the, the date of yesterday, but I wrote that I did it in the morning. And um, so see, I'm flexible. And I still remembered what I was grateful for. And it was a great way to start my day. And it's a great way to end your day. So anyhow, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe. I talk a lot about um, living, um, living the Doman method, basically, with my kiddo, and um, how we work through that, um, and how um, we've incorporated that into our life. And I also um, offer a mentorship um, program. I'll leave the link down below. It's for moms that are thinking of starting the Doman program or on the Doman program and want some, you know, one-on-one -on -one, like parental support, like somebody like from a mom that's in the trenches and knows what it's like. Um, I know that sometimes um, groups like uh, support groups can kind of not be a good fit for us Doman moms because we don't want to trauma bond. We don't want to talk about all the bad stuff. We want to talk about what we're doing to help our kids get better and to celebrate those victories and to work through those challenges and not just to sit in it. Um, so that is kind of what I offer. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check the link down below and I would be honored to uh, work with you. Anyhow, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.